to Florida? This isn't the Vegas Strip, it's a strip mall. Between barber shops and massage parlors, so-called sweepstakes cafes are popping up across the country. They've got the markings of a casino, free food, dark rooms, some open 24 hours. Does it feel like gambling to you a little bit? Yes, that's what I like about it. But are they casinos? Law enforcement thinks so, and they're shutting them down because here in Florida, only certain highly regulated operators are allowed to run casinos. In our opinion, it's clearly gambling. Owners say that's not the case. It looks like a duck, talks like a duck, walks like a duck, but it's not a duck. Sweepstakes is a predetermined pool of tickets. It's totally different. There is no chance involved. And in every one, you'll find a sign like this. Just to give you a sense of how many of these sweepstakes cafes there are, you've got one right here, you've got two across the street. They would not let us in. They would not talk to us. Right around the corner here, you've got another. I'm playing the, uh, the Vegas game. I just won three times in a row. I, my first time at this. Here's how they work. You buy a phone card or internet time and get free sweepstakes points in return. Then log on and play away. Unlike a slot machine where you pay just to play, sweepstakes players are actually getting a product for their money, which owners say makes this legal. But you can still lose money, just like in a slot machine. I ended up losing 15 bucks. Do most people come to these establishments to use the web, or are no. they coming to play? No, they, they come to play the games. The Florida Attorney General's office says gambling activities may not be disguised as a game promotion, but leaves enforcement up to county sheriffs. The law has not kept up with the technology, I guess. We went out to find where does all this software come from? We found one of the biggest companies that makes it right in this industrial park on the outskirts of Atlanta. I sell the computers okay. uh, preloaded with software. Um, two businesses that intend to promote their products. Don Victor runs and World Touch Gaming and sells these terminals for 1500 bucks a pop. I get a fraction of a penny per entry revealed. Making it a lucrative business for software developers and store owners who can bank up to $40,000 a day. And it actually says that the total prizes over the next thousand entries will total $39.55. Okay, I can sit, select entries uh -huh. and I can hit all, which uh -huh. is going to be all 90 entries, right? I have $39.55. In prizes. In prizes. That's predetermination, which would make this legal. But as we found, not every place operates that way, and now many are getting raided by cops. They wear like flax suits and come with guns blazing. Florida State Representative Peter Nair actually opened a sweepstakes cafe, only to have it shut down two months later. It's not a gambling operation. It is a retail business who uses sweepstakes to promote their business. But Sheriff Coates isn't buying it, and he's ordering them shut left and right. There's nothing here to it. There's no handle. There's no lever. There's no random number generator, there's nothing. Machine. No, it's a computer. What games do you like to play? The winning one. In Pinellas <laughs> County, Florida, Poppy Harlow, CNN Money.